Welcome back into the game vlogs. This is game number five on the season as we have just passed the halfway points. The Milwaukee Brewers in town to face the Dodgers and I feel like I have to see a Brewers game every single season because when I do, something good always happens. And I was on the board today with this screaming line drive. One of the Brewer lefties, I couldn't quite make out who it was from where I was at, but Glad to have it, an absolute pearl straight into my glove in the first row. Freddie Peralta here signing for fans, one of the star starting pitchers for the Milwaukee Brewers. I already have his autograph from years ago. Freddie Peralta, always great with fans. Pictured here is Dodgers post-game radio host David Vasse, known for being a big Dodger homer more than me, but I would really like him on the Sports on LA broadcast. So I was able to get this 2022 All-Star Game program via my Dodger Rewards membership. I'm just a regular Dodger fan. I don't have season tickets. The lowest perk possible, but I'm still able to gather reward points and save up for stuff like this which I didn't have, so really happy to have this 2022 All-Star Game Relic program. I really love this One of my favorite postseason series of all time, the Dodgers have played in the Dodgers and the Brewers, the 2018 National League Championship Series. This was a series that I was a part of. I was a part of that fantastic game four, five hour game that resulted in a Cody Ballinger walk off base hit, Machado, Johnny Hustle, as they like to call him, scoring the run. Just incredible game, incredible experience. And Really, it, it's part of the reason why I wanted to do these vlogs because, like, I was always at these ball games, experiencing these great moments, and I just kind of wanted to share them all with you guys. With 23-year-old Walker Buehler pitching to this point the most important game of his career, he went four and two-thirds innings, struck out seven, gave up just one run. Chris Taylor made a spectacular catch, robbing Christian Yelich of extra base in the bottom of the fifth. The game turned on Yasiel Puig's three-run home run in the top of the sixth as the Dodgers won their second consecutive National League. In case you're not counting, this would be Will Smith's second home run of the day. Second home run off of Aaron Savali, Will Smith, struggling of late. Billy saw the ball well in this ball game. This is where we see Tyler Glasnow unfortunately get into some trouble.
but the sour moment wouldn't last too long as Chris Taylor would toss me a third out ball, a strikeout by Jackson Churio, my third gamer. And the Dodgers in dealing with some major injuries, some depth issues on this ball club. They need to play Miguel Vargas more. I've been very critical of Miguel Vargas the last couple of years, but he's really found his own this season. For the Shohei crowd, Shohei Watani did not do much in this game. On his birthday, he had three strikeouts. Fortunately, not much going for Otani in this ballgame. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a three homer night, the big Will Smith. So here's the situation, we have a tie ball game here in the bottom of the 8th inning, there is 2 outs, bases loaded full of Dodgers, Freddie Freeman is up at the plate looking for the big time go ahead hit that the Dodgers are in so desperate need of, I let the action do the rest. Oh, 